Mayor Bottoms, uh, we've been watching you. We're your neighbors to the north. Uh, and we've been watching you and what you've been going through. And uh, first, I hope you're feeling well, and I hope your family is feeling well. On top of everything, you have to be dealing with the COVID virus yourself. Uh, then you have your hands more than full there. You have not only the COVID virus, but the other virus of uh, racism and division uh, and what was going on with Mr. Brooks. But uh, we just want to tell you on behalf of New Yorkers after what we've gone through that uh, you are exactly right, Mayor, what you are saying and what you are advocating. You know, it's no longer a question of uh, theory or a question of politics. We have facts. We have data. Uh, we went through it here in New York. We went through it uh, in a worst-case scenario. Uh, and uh, it is about following the data and following the science and taking the precautions and doing what's right. Uh, it is about masks. Masks work. We can tell you that here in New York. We had the worst spike uh, per capita on the globe, and we brought it down. And now you see these other states are going higher than New York. So those masks work. We were the first state to start mandatory masks a April 15th. Uh, and all the science now says uh, for sure masks make a, a big difference. One of the models last week the IHME model, it's the Gates-funded model that the White House uses, actually projected 40,000 more Americans will die if we don't have a national mask policy. So uh, it's clear. But uh, we just wanted to tell you that we feel for you. Uh, we are all one. We're one community. Uh, I applaud your leadership. You really get to see what an elected official is made of when the, when the pressure is on. Uh, and you have more than risen to the occasion. You've been inspiring. Uh, they refer to you as a rising star, and they are all correct. Uh, and we are with you. Anything we can do for you or the city, uh, we stand ready. We remember how good the people across this country were to us. When we were in the midst of it, I asked for volunteers from across the United States, nurses, doctors, to come help in our hospitals. 30,000 people uh, volunteered to come to New York in the midst of it and work in our hospitals. It was such an act of generosity and love uh, that it was really touching. So uh, we're here for you, the concept of pay forward. Uh, whatever we can do on any level, uh, we have people who've been through this and actually know, uh, and we stand ready. But you're right. Keep going. Stay strong. Uh, the facts will bear out. It's about saving lives, and you're doing exactly the right thing. And the numbers are going to show that. So thank you for taking some time to be with us today. Mayor. Across the country and at the beginning of this pandemic my charge to my team was simple god bless the child who's got its own and i had no idea that we would have to go it alone in so many ways i thought that it was more geared towards the lack of leadership we had at the federal level but it has proven to be equally challenging at the statewide level and my family is an example of what's happening across this country we had an asymptomatic child in our home for eight days before we knew uh, that that child was asymptomatic. And by that time, my husband and I had contracted COVID unnecessarily, I would imagine, because we would have taken precautions to protect ourselves. Thankfully, by the grace of God, we don't have underlying health conditions and we are all on the men. My husband is feeling a lot better, but for so many people across this country, that is not their story and their outcome is so very different. So in Atlanta, uh, when we saw that we were in a very different place than the governor's leadership was taking us, we convened an advisory committee in our city comprised of health experts, 
small business owners, Fortune 500 representatives, colleges and universities, just really a representation of our community. And they made some very clear recommendations on where we needed to go with reopening, a, a phased approach. We had made it into the second phase, but given where we are, um, our ICU bed capacity is maxed out in some hospitals by the day. We're getting closer to maxing now in others. Our numbers are ticking up. I look at the numbers daily. I am seeing numbers that I have not seen since April. Um, as of yesterday afternoon, we were up almost 23% over a week's uh, period of time. We're headed in the wrong direction. So as a city, we've recommended that we go back to phase one, which is essentially a stay-at-home order. Also, we've instituted a mask mandate. Uh, the benefit of that is, is one, us taking a very clear position as a city that we recognize that masks wearing masks helps save lives, but also even in the world's busiest airport, Hartsville-Jackson Atlanta International Airport, one of our largest job centers, we can also mandate masks there as well. And it's very simple. Unless we have a coordinated approach across this country, we are going to continue to unnecessarily watch people die. And what makes it even more frustrating and, and even more disappointing, we didn't have to look to Italy we could look to New York and you told us very clearly that if we didn't do things differently in our cities and states, we would find ourselves in the same situation that New York was facing. And unfortunately you were correct because throughout the South, especially uh, we, are, we are getting there in rapid order. And so I, I thank you for your leadership. I know that as a city in the same way New York was able to get to the other side. I know that we will get to the other side, but it is going to take us taking responsibility for ourselves and, and taking actions that look at data and science and not just our opinions. Right. Thank, thank you very much, Mayor. And you're right. The unfortunate uh, and really frustrating point here is why did other states have to go through this? I mean, we knew what we were dealing with. New York w went down the path before. Uh, we lived exactly this. Just learn from what New York did. Learn from the numbers, learn from the data. And we, we knew that if you reopen recklessly, the virus was going to take off again. If you're not doing precautions, the virus was going to take off. Uh, now, New York's problem is we have the infection coming from other states back to New York. We're worried about our infection rate going up uh, because of people coming from other states where the infection rate is higher. We have a, a cluster of cases in an upstate county called uh, Rensselaer. People came up from Georgia. They had the virus and they infected people uh, in New York, and then it, it took off. So you are, you are on exactly the right uh, track. Anything we can do to help, we're at a stable period now. We have the virus way down low. We went from the worst infection rate in the country to the best infection rate, the lowest. So uh, we have a little breathing space here. Anything we can do for you that you need, any, uh, uh, help on the uh, testing, setting up the taste testing and the tracing. That is so, so important. Uh, and we've been through that. So you have an open offer, whatever you need, but uh, we're also 100% behind you. Uh, and we wish you Godspeed in your health recovering. Uh, and we hope that Atlanta under your guidance comes back quickly and anything we can do, we stand ready. Thank you, Governor. And that's exactly what we need assistance with, uh, testing, uh, testing that gets people results very quickly, and also the contact tracing, because we know that's extremely important for us to help slow the spread. So I appreciate your offer to help, and, and we certainly um, would be appreciative of that assistance. Well, we can do that. We have, uh, I'll, I'll arrange it uh, with, your, with your team, but we'll put together uh, people who have done the testing for us and the contact tracing. 
we actually worked with uh, Mike Bloomberg, former mayor of New York City. Uh, and because nobody knew what a contact tracing program was. And, and we worked with the former mayor who stepped up and brought Johns Hopkins to the table and we came up with a training program and a whole software program. Uh, so I'll send the team down to Atlanta uh, and they can work with uh, your people and whatever we know and whatever we can share, uh, we will do. In the meantime, send my uh, regards to uh, the former mayor there who uh, I worked with. Send my regards to uh, all the people at uh, Centi Centennial Park. When I was HUD secretary, I did a lot of work uh, in Atlanta, a lot of good work. I have a lot of fond memories. So send my regards to everyone. I'll get that team together, and they'll come down uh, to Atlanta as soon as it works for you. Thank you for being with Thank us, you Mayor. So much, I appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks.